Hello, I'm Jake Chotter from NewsOK.com, standing here at Owen Field where Oklahoma was looking for a bounce-back victory following a disappointing 14-13 loss to Brigham Young last weekend. The rain didn't cooperate, though. About 85,000 Sooner fans stood in the pouring rain to watch Oklahoma versus Idaho State. How would the Sooners do? Let's go to the highlights. OU would take the first drive and go 65 yards down the field and would end up fourth and goal. Landry Jones can't make it in as OU turns it over on downs on the quarterback sneak. Sooners next possession in great field position. First down on the first play. Landry Jones rolls out and finds Ryan Broyles in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown to put the Sooners up 7 to nothing. On the Bengals next possession near their own end zone, the Sooners with the rush up the middle. Kyle Blub fumbles by Gerald McCoy's sack and Frank Alexander picks it up and scores a touchdown. 14 nothing Sooners. Later in the first quarter, a familiar combo, Jones to Broyles, this time for 51 yards, four touchdowns, a three-ply 69-yard drive, and OU is up 21 to nothing. Broyles on the night had seven catches for 155 yards and three touchdowns. Then at the beginning of the second quarter, the duo connects once again. Jones on the fade route to Broyles in the corner of the end zone, 11 yards, touchdown, 27 nothing, Sooners rolling. After piling up the points early, the Sooners turn to the run. Chris Brown, to your run, cap, uh, caps a 10-play drive, and the Sooners go ahead 34 to nothing. Then on their following series, 9-play, 59-yard drive. DeMarco Murray from three yards out. Murray on the night with a big game, 12 carries, 107 yards, and two touchdowns. OU leads 41-0 at the half. In the second half, the defense preserved the shutout. A bunch of second and third teamers getting some playing time. Jonathan Miller with a hard run for 36 yards and the touchdown. Sooners go up 57 to nothing. Miller in his debut had a big game. Nine carries, 88 yards, and one touchdown. Sooners next possession, three plays, 15 yards, all by Jeremy Calhoun. Sooners win at home 64 to nothing. Bob Stoops extremely pleased with the performance of his team, especially his redshirt freshman quarterback. I thought Landry did an excellent job, again, in a bad Night, one of the worst nights I can remember here in, in my 11 seasons. Um, and the way he, uh, you know, just constant rain all night. And he threw gr some great passes, managed the football, took care of it. Uh, the line of scrimmage, we, we didn't have, uh, you know, we had a lot of, we had excellent communication. So I, I thought he handled it uh, really well. I thought I did pretty well. Uh, I came out a little slow in the third quarter, but I mean, I felt like I played, I played pretty good tonight. I, I felt a little bit more confident. I wasn't as nervous. I kind of had a game underneath me already, so it was a little different, but not much. Obviously, the outcome I liked a lot better. Well, it's pretty easy to throw to Ryan. You just kind of have to put it out there and let him run to it, so I feel like we have a really good connection right now. I just felt him running by that guy, so I just put it up for him, let him run to it, use the speed, get to the corner of the end zone. Yeah, we've been working that play in practice quite a bit, and we saw the defense that we wanted, so coach dialed it up, and we ex executed Oh, man, Landry's a great player, man. So we all had confidence in him, and he had confidence in himself. So whatever was whatever was called, we had confidence in what he could do. Oh, man, I didn't even – I know I got my foot down, but I didn't know if I was inbound or not, so they they had to replay it and whatnot. But I'm just glad it was a touchdown. Oh, it was on the money. So you could, really couldn't get a better throw than that. You know, his game last week was on one of the bigger stages that you would have, one of the bigger arenas with, with national implications and expectations and things not going well. And I thought the way he handled himself last week, I think, showed he was going to play well. He came out this week and shoot Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He probably practiced better than anyone on offense. So uh, it was just nice tonight that we didn't have the negative plays. Supporting players gave him a chance, and he played well. We always prepare the same. I mean, you know, rather if it's Idaho State or Texas, we we prepare the same. We we watch as much film as we always do, and I mean, we just went out there with a chip on our shoulder tonight and uh, really played like we had a lot to prove. And uh, you know, it's good seeing all those twos get in and uh, you know really continue to you know hold up the standards as a defense. So you know, it was it was good seeing that tonight. I think we were more consistent. We came out, we played harder, we played. Uh, most importantly, smarter. Uh, we protected the ball all game, and uh, when we kind of got a lead, we didn't come out and you know give up big plays uh, as defensively, and then we still made the plays on offense. So I think we really got better this week. Yeah, we wanted to make a statement this week. Uh, there would be times where we would get up by a few points last year, and then uh, we would lax and then give up a few big plays, and they score two touchdowns at the end of the game. And we just tried to change that more on defense. Uh, you know, be stingy the entire game until, you know, end of the fourth quarter.